uh, all of these over 100,000 domain names that we're going to be just filtering and looking through. So if you are here for the first time, welcome. If you're watching this on Restream, this is Domain to Profit, where each week at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we come together to look through expiring domain names. These are domain names that the previous owner is letting go. And here it is. We take that, them letting go as our opportunity to find great domain names. That's what we do each week here, Monday, 3 p.m. So welcome. I'm glad to have you with us. Uh, if you would, if you would make sure that you go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you love domain names and business, so that way you can be alerted each week as we come together. And say hi in the chat, let everybody else know that you're here. We have a great community that comes together, others who love business ideas, love the idea of startups and domain name businesses, many that already own lots of domain names, that may be you, many find this show because they have these great ideas and they just need a domain name that offers the opportunity to make that great idea a reality. So uh, let's get together. We're going to get this going. I'm Drew Wash. This is Domain to Profit. From Domain to Profit. Domain to Profit. From my dog. Yes, I have a domain name to put an income from Domain to Profit. Show you how. Domain to Profit. From Domain to Profit. Join Drew Wash and get started right now. Okay. Well, well, I know that I have heard from several of you uh, that there's a lot of times clicking and popping and some different uh, audio things that happen here. And I want to let you know that I do hear you and I want to improve it. So, uh, uh, you know, bear with me. I am working on them. Me and the others, a few others in the team here are helping to create uh, the best possible domain to profit. And we will figure it out. I know it's like... 112 weeks of doing this. You know, some weeks are better than others. Technology is always changing too. You know, you probably know how that is. So, well, welcome. Thanks for being here with me. I see uh, a bunch already popping into the chat. Uh, I saw that. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of technology, uh, L Couch. Thanks for uh, joining. Hope you're back from your reboot. But yeah, I had to do a bunch of reboots just prior to this with all the. Uh, Windows updates in my case. Uh, glad to hear it, David, uh, that you're you're doing the HTML, CSS, uh, foundational stuff. Love seeing it. I hope you really, really get to reap those benefits of, of learning those skills. Uh, I know that you will. I know that you will. So uh, I love to see it. I love to see that action. And Stuart, nice to have you here as well. And hey, how's it going? So as you pop in, feel free to let the community know that you are here. Lots of great people out there that will surely welcome you. Uh, we'll be checking in throughout the show. Uh, but what we come here to do is look through domain names. So if you expect a bunch of fancy special effects or anything, uh, most likely you're not going to get them. Instead, what you're going to get are these right here, domain names. That's why we all come here. So what site are we on here? We are on expireddomains.net. Hopefully you can see that in the URL above me, expireddomains.net. So thankful for them. Uh, it's a free tool. What you see here is available to you without paying at all. So just register for your account. Uh, mine appears as a dark background, just personal preference, uh, which you can set up as well if you choose to. The filters that we use, are going to be these right over here. These filters, this video will walk you through the filters that we use uh, to look through the expiring domain names that are available on GoDaddy through the marketplace domains and then GoDaddy's expiring domains. So these filters out of over 400,000 domains, over 400,000 domains are uh, available on on expired domains just for uh, GoDaddy expiring domains. And out of those 400,000, like how many, like realistically, how many can we even get to? Uh, if we were to try to look through them all, 
we, we'd never get to them all. So the filters are really important to help us uh, clarify what we're looking for. We're looking for English words. We're not looking, you're not gonna find many brandables here. They come up occasionally. A brandable being a domain name that is a domain name that uh, doesn't really say what's on it. It's, it's defined by you. You get to choose what that domain name is uh, versus a more generic domain name like a towing.com or photobooths.com where you hear it and it's color by number. You can see what it's supposed to be and now you just need to do the work to kind of fill in those blanks to make the business there. Super simple stuff that we talk about here. Uh, that That's why, you know, uh, taking the time, I believe it was David, you know, learning the basics of the web, that's it. Learn the basics, learn some scripting, and start building websites, building specifically these great domain names out. The opportunities are there for you. Uh, and this is just exactly what we do is look to expiring domain names because not only are the skills available, like you can learn these skills. I know you may be doubting yourself, but you can learn them. I've been with numerous people that uh, doubted their technical ability and over time were able to learn, especially those foundational ones, HTML, CSS, getting an idea of JavaScript or some kind of programming language. That's when the logic comes into it when you're really programming uh, JavaScript or some other, you know, we, we do all kinds of stuff here in my uh, business. So, uh, but it's up to you. Go down the path that you want. The main thing is domain names are supposed to be developed. You'll hear that over and over. So here we are at expireddomains.net. Uh, and what we do is we do order them by valuation. Ordering by valuation just brings some of the best ones to the top. Valuation is not the actual amount a domain name is worth. All the time you'll see domain names that are high value, sell for almost nothing, and low value, sell for big money. It's because it's not a guarantee, there's no guarantee on that valuation. It's just a number that helps you sort and order the domain names. So here it is, you'll see, we filter these down to nearly 99,000 99, domain names. We're only gonna get to the top 200 of them ordered by valuation today and we're going to spend some time looking through a couple of the other uh, lists here. In fact, you'll see them right at the top of the list, Drop Catch and then Epic Name Liquidate. I hope that we can get to both of those just to see what's out there, just you know, check it out. So uh, there's all kinds of opportunities out there. GoDaddy, we just look through GoDaddy. It's the easiest, the easiest option. So here we go. So. Uh, last week, I mentioned that I picked up, uh, I think, ThoughtMap. So I was going to get BeerMap.com uh, for you know putting together like pub crawls. Uh, that one was available last week. Did not get it. It went up over well over two twelve hundred dollars. I was like, eh. So how about Open Campus? I, I kind of like that one. I don't I don't one hundred percent know what it would be, but I could see there being uh, more of a tool for sharing data across campuses, maybe uh, college students sharing their used textbooks to each other, something like that. So does it paint a picture in your head, open campus? Not necessarily. Now, what I could also see open campus being, if you want to get really crazy, you want to get really big, uh, you can go the route of open campus being, well, essentially free online college or uh, college classes brought to you through open campus where you can, I mean, knowledge is knowledge, right? I mean, you don't necessarily need a piece of paper to say that you have it. I mean, how many people go to college, get a degree, and then never actually use it? Or in most cases, they just learn enough to take a test. So uh, basically, open campus could be a way for you to learn the things you want to learn uh, without necessarily going to college, which I think is awesome. And I'm, I'm a learner. Matt Black, I, I like the domain name. Not entirely sure what I would put on it. Botmart, uh, buy and sell bots, I guess maybe. Telesales or telesale. If it was plural, I'd like it. Not a big fan of it, singular. So I got this one marked. I, I do have Botmart 
uh, just kind of highlight it here with the star. Uh, and I do like Bot Mart. Um, I just, you know, what are you going to do with it? Uh, so bots, what are bar bots? I interpret bots, if I was to put together that, you know, color by number, I would see Bot Mart as a place where, uh, I think of browser extensions, browser plugins, uh, even yeah. apps, or these little bitty pieces of code that run on the web and do stuff. Like you can set up macros and different things. Macros being like repetitive tasks, trace your mouse and redo the same action over and over. All kinds of little things. If you don't know about them, it's probably not for you. But if you do, then you're likely looking at bot mark going, huh, that would be a pretty good website for the bots that we're putting together. Kato Guru, uh, well, Kato Diet Guru being somebody that knows much about it. Uh, it's a good, that falls in that brandable. What do you expect to find on it? Yeah, I expect to find somebody that knows something about Kato Diets. I am not that person. I don't know anything about it. But if I did, it'd be good for me to have a blog on it. Or if you wanted to develop it and you know nothing about Kato like me, maybe you want to develop it in a way that allows others who know stuff about Kato Diets to uh, advertise, provide content, blog, and you could share that domain name with the experts in that industry. That is the model that I hang my hat on. Domains are made to be developed, and one of the best ways you can develop domain names is just create ways for the community involved in that industry to do what they do. Give them a blank canvas, let them create on it. You just provide some framework stuff. So, hey, Bill. Hey, uh, I saw you. I see your uh, restart is done. Matt dropped in as well. So, hi, everybody uh, popping into the chat. Nice to have you all join us. Hotelstays.com. I, I don't mind it. Uh, as you probably, if you watch this on a weekly basis, I'm not a big fan of hotel related travel domain names. Uh, we do see them come up from time to time. A lot of big players out there. Uh, you can do something with it if you wanted. Chances are it's going to go for more than what a small domain investing, domain developing person like myself would want to be involved in. So, yeah, you can put something basic on it, but is it going to have a place in that industry? Probably not. People want to see hotel stays. It paints a picture that's going to include hotel availability, deals, discounts, and all of that stuff sounds like way more work than what I would want to put into a project. So just keep that in mind for a show. Machine safety, have that one marked. I like food hubs, food hubs. I'm gonna click on this. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on this one, make this our first dive into the domain name. And here's what we do when we dive into a domain name. We look at the data behind it. It's no longer just Drew's opinion. We are looking at the data. It's not, not just you know some imaginary uh, data point. We see if there's actually numbers behind this domain name to uh, make it worth buying. And this one does end in an hour, 45 minutes. So keep that in mind. $250 uh, is the uh, current bid. So how do we dive into this? Well, we go over to spyfoo.com. There are numerous other keyword tools out there that you can use. We here on Domain to Profit enjoy SpyFu because it simplifies things for us. You'll see once we hit search on this, uh, we got rid of the .com. We spaced out the words, the two words being food, hubs. And now we're diving into what that looks like when people are searching. We're seeing the data behind it. So there are 180 searches for food hubs that are happening out there. And that's 180 that are available to you to, to target. There may be more or less. We'll be able to see that here in a little bit. Uh, then over here on the middle column, what I'm doing is a control F on my keyboard. That is allowing me to do a browser search. And now I'm highlighting all the places that food hubs the exact keyword show up in other searches. So this is super handy if you're looking at all this data and you wanna know, does it matter to you? Does it matter to this domain name? Control F just highlights it. 
and you'll see here food hubs near me kind of like that why do i like it because it has near me like we love i love seeing my domain name the keyword of my domain name followed by near me so uh, sometimes people think that it's a good idea to buy like food hubs near me you can probably go hand register that the thing is you don't want to go up to four words like that uh kind of a bad idea even if the keyword data looks good near me does not mean hey go buy me it means near me means the people that are searching are looking for local businesses and this gives you as a domain developer domain investor an opportunity to uh, provide some basic search and reach a large area so i'm not entirely sure what a food hub is in fact most people aren't you'll see over here just behind me here uh is it says what are food hubs right this is something I don't even know what a food hub is. Uh, I just like it. It's nice, short, easy to spell. Uh, so 44 people are asking what are food hubs? How many food hubs are in the United States? Uh, that's at 70 times right here above my head or behind my head. But 440 times people are looking for localized data for food hubs. That means you can provide a local search. This is exactly what we do on towing.com food hubs would be able to come register be a member of your website and then whenever anybody comes to foodhubs.com and searches you will show the food hubs near them the functionality the programming required to do that is honestly we've been doing this with some basic programming since 2007 actually even before that uh, there's formulas and things and nowadays there's mapping software and all kinds of stuff that makes it so much easier to do local search there you go. You can do it 440 times. And uh, then you can also implement something I call the local Legion 300. Not sure if this is big enough for the local Legion 300, but what essentially that is local Legion 300 is a way to get your first 300 customers. And that is by finding one customer in each of the top largest 300 cities in the United States. A little over 300 cities in the United States have over 100,000 people in them. That seems like there's at least one person that's going to be gutsy enough to step up and join as a member. No money, though. So this is not a good. I like to see $10 or more. We talk about this each week. And we also like to see 10 or more advertisers. Or I'm sorry. I like to see cost per click at $2 or higher. And I like to see the number of advertisers to be double digits. So but hey there we go we, we got some pretty good stuff uh going on with it this is a little bit of a futuristic type of domain name but for 250 uh even if you can get that for let's look at this data we'll toss together some numbers we got 440 that we can target pretty well and then 180 uh that domain name i will likely be potentially bidding on it up into the 600 range it could probably will probably go for higher than that, but it's going to earn a watch list from Drew. And then after the show, I'll be bidding on it. Stay tuned. Next week, I'll update if. Uh, but if you are looking to bid on it, make sure you reach out and uh, you can DM me, message me over on Twitter. I want you to get the domain name. I want others that are interested in developing domain names to get domains. I have enough they weigh on me heavily because as you hear me say all the time domains are made to be developed domains are supposed to be developed and yes like you possibly i have many of them just sitting in my portfolio waiting to be developed so i try to be disciplined enough to not buy additional domains unless they're going to be developed uh, with some of the current stuff that we're working on which more about that on community.dtp.tv, uh, which is our community website, community.dtp, domain to profit.tv. Uh, that's where we get together in between shows and kind of share some of the wins uh, of domain names, losses. And I've been blogging and sharing a little bit about the development work we're doing uh, over there. Checking into the chat. Yeah, yeah, I'll thank you, Matt. Uh, I will just 
highlight that for a moment. So there's the community that you can go to that uh, Matt's comment there and I will unpin, unhide. Hopefully you got that. You can find that in the chat if you're watching live. If you're watching in Restream, community.dtp.tv. Let me raise my table a little bit. It feels awful low here. Okay, there we go. Sit stand desk, fun, nerdy. Idea hunter, I meant to highlight that one. Uh, I just feel like I am a hunter. I'll make, I'm Drew Wash out on the, the idea Serengeti with my, my bow and spear and I'm trying to find something. Yeah. Okay, ideahunter.com. Let's go see if the keyword data supports this domain name being worth much. You know, the, as much as I love ideas, ideas are not going to be what wins. It's going to be your action. It's going to be being like, uh, I want to get the name right because I don't want to. Uh, okay. Was it David? I, I, I don't have it in front of me. I, the chat has moved on. Uh, but I believe David is out there learning HTML, learning CSS. It's not the idea. It's him being capable of taking action on that idea. He's learning the skills needed to be able to do what he needs to do. So become capable. It's one of my values is being capable. Uh, it is always be learning. 40 searches for Idea Hunter. Uh, it looks like most people are including... I like this, look at this. So uh, nothing showing up when we do that control F, so Idea Hunter is not appearing. But what we do see in that similar column here is gift ideas for the hunter, gift ideas for hunters. Like it's a little more literal. So people that are hunters, what are the ideas for their gifts? Uh, you could even take that one step a little more abstract. Yes, you can have hunter, gifts for hunters, uh, but maybe you offer a service that you help buy gifts. Uh, we've had that idea before. I don't know if that's really a thing. And I just don't know if it's possible. It's already hard enough to buy gifts for people you know, let alone, I don't know, some people have special abilities to find, uh, to get good gifts for people. I'm not that person. Charitypages.com. I don't know. I'm not sure on charity pages. I'm thinking charitypages.com. Uh, well, here we go. Here's here's an option. Uh, back in the day, uh, a few years back, I we work uh, we we work with a few charities. One of which is a charity that does a bunch of mission work um, called Back to Back, and uh, they do some child sponsorship pieces. So. That's where you can kind of like, you know, 20 bucks a month, 50 bucks a month. You help with the expenses of that child uh, in an orphanage in a different country. Uh, we are active in Haiti uh, with that. And what am I doing with towing.com here? I meant to go to charity pages and you can see what's on my mind a little bit. Type in towing.com. Okay. So touch, search for charity pages. Uh, but one of the things that we were thinking about putting together and this was just kind of we were like hey what if we uh, put together profiles in the kids and help uh, those who are in the community supporting that kid get updates and be involved in that child's life and get the news uh, specifically only if you're involved because there's a lot of privacy type issues or concerns around kids of course um, and we went down that path a little bit and decided not to pursue it especially because photos and things weren't a lot. And anyhow, long story short, we didn't mess with it, but charitypages.com would be a great domain name for helping out with the charity. Uh, let's see what, now if you're looking to make money, probably not for you, but if you're looking to uh, help out what, you know, with various charities, oh my, okay, here you go. Advertisers 15, cost per click over $2. Uh, it looks like most people are searching, kind of thinking this along the lines of more of a GoFundMe type of thing. <laughs> Personally, I don't mess with profiting from nonprofits. Uh, 
I, I try not to go down that path too much. Um, gets a little bit of a funk in my belly. Like I'm not a big fan of it, but at the same time, hey, innovation needs to happen, right? Innovation needs to happen around charities. Uh, so maybe that's one of the ways you can do it. So there is some keyword data. There's good advertisers, good uh, search. It's certainly going to earn a watch list. That's two days left, $100 left, charitypages.com. Car history report. That seems like a pretty reasonable domain. And it sounds like it is going to, uh, I'm guessing that's going to have some pretty good SEO behind it. So carhistoryreport.com. That one is way up of doing a search for sure. As you likely know, Carfax is the one that does the car history reports that I'm aware of. Uh, they're the ones that made the brand out of it. They do the title. Uh, they've standardized it, and that means that over 3,000 people are searching for car history report. If you're like me, I try to avoid brands like that, and I will go to see what I could find on my own. So I'm probably one of the people when I look for a search for a car, I'm probably doing the search for car history report. Oh yeah, there's some good keyword stuff happening here. Uh, so I'm doing my control F. Uh, this is just what I do to kind of uh, be able to see the data a little clearer and boom. So you see the Christmas lights pop up on this domain name. Uh, there's a lot of stuff highlighted here. So car history report, it is three words. Wouldn't you much rather own car history or maybe even car report? Uh, those two domain names would be good, better alternatives, or at least as good of alternatives. Uh, so keep alternative domain names in mind with all of these, especially if you want to pay more for a domain name. In this case, over 3,000 searches. And look at all these other keywords that are targetable. Is that a, um, if that's not a real word, there you go. It's a real word now. <laughs> you can, these are targetable words. The ones that are highlighted are really good keywords for you to target on the content of your domain name. And then this third column, that's my head hides here. These are the questions that users are asking into the search engines right now with the highlighted that what that tells you is what content to put on your domain name. They're asking these questions. You just build a page. In fact, Give me one second. Let's go look at how we do this. Uh, this is one of the things that we added to a bunch of our different sites. Uh, hopefully everything works. And I want to show you how we actually do this on our sites. And it never fails. I'm, I'm typing in my, uh, okay, here we go. They're probably doing a build upstairs. And this just, I know it, like I'm not trying to show off any any of my brands, but what we'll do is just show you a little bit about how, uh, how we use the questions. Everything I'm teaching you here, everything I talk about is something we use ourselves because it matters. It's set up on a T for us and we're just like swinging at it, okay? We don't always hit it perfectly, but we try to do what we can to use this content. So what we've done on towing.com is we take this column here, this questions that people are asking, we take the ones that are regarding actual towing as far as like towing companies and towing services, and then we build out questions. And what you'll see here, this is of course a question that a lot of people ask into Google. How much do tow trucks charge, right? That's a common question. How much does a tow truck charge? We did not answer this question. We just created a page that asked this question and then visitor, I'm sorry, members and companies on the site can come in and answer the question. That's all we did. And now in turn, we pick up search engine traffic and also help our visitors when they come in looking for answers to questions. That's it, that's it. I did not answer that question. I am not a professional at uh, coming in and uh, you know how, uh, knowing how much a tow truck to charge. All I do is share that domain name and create a way for towing companies to answer the questions 
of the visitors and their customers. Simple enough, right? I, I think it is. And SpyFu, that's one of the things they do is set it up. Hey, and SpyFu, that's one of the things they do is set it up on a tee for us here by giving us the questions that people are asking that involve our keyword. In this case, where do I get a car history report? How can I get a car history report? Uh, how can I get a free car history report? Uh, all of these questions you can pose to your audience and then those car dealerships or those people that provide those services, they can then come in, answer the question and potentially get that additional benefit and the visibility by answering the question the best possible way. It goes up to the top, everybody's happy and it all happens on your website, your new domain name, carhistoryreport.com, ending in seven days, $50 currently over on GoDaddy and that one will get a watch list. How much is it worth? Uh, it, it's always worth whatever somebody's willing to buy. Uh, looking at this really quickly, I did not scroll down to show you this. Two advertisers, 82 cents per click. Those numbers mean that I am going to take this number and reduce it. If we saw those numbers up higher, it might actually multiply the number. I could see this num this domain name going for up to $3,000. I would probably fall on the line of three keywords, three words that is, I would probably max out at $1,200. Most likely I'm not going to bid. If I do, I'll just keep it at 800 or less is what my gut is telling me currently. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a range, but hey, if somebody loves it, don't be surprised if it doesn't go for five figures. So there you go, carhistoryreport.com over on GoDaddy. Nextmoment.com. And the next moment, we're gonna keep on looking through domain names. Okay. Okay, this is one that I actually, I don't know if this is even spelled right in things, but I saw this one, one of the kind of uh, mention it out on the stream. Uh, let me uh, do a search for it on SpyFu. I'm not entirely sure if this is an actual phrase. Nope, did not copy it. And for all those joining us or watching on Restream as of this point, thank you for being here. This is Domain to Profit, Drew Wash. And make sure you've liked and subscribed to the video. I appreciate you being here, hanging out with us in the community. We are searching now for genetherapies.com. Domain name is ending in two days over on GoDaddy Auctions. Currently $125 is the bid. So this one drew me in as I'm clicking all over the place onto the wrong things. Just close the wrong window. 112 shows. I still mess up. It's okay. I'm human. It's not okay. Chances are you're not here right now. <laughs> if you're looking for somebody superhuman to do this, here you go. Gene therapies. There's a good segue. Maybe we can clone or something. Okay. So gene therapies. Okay. So so there is some tr some search uh, happening here, 400 searches for gene therapies. Uh, but this is what I was kind of guessing here. If we were to look at a trend line, and let's go actually out to a tool we don't use very often, uh, trends.google.com, trends.google.com. Uh, this is a tool over on Google uh, that allows you to see how a topic if it's growing or going down, so on and so forth. And I want to see if gene therapy is increasing in uh, use in searches or decreasing. My hunch is that it's very much going up higher and higher, uh, meaning that a domain name like gene therapies would be a good domain name. Maybe not for right now, but for the future, right? We have, if we, oh, yeah, here, oh, no, it's actually, it was big back in 2004, dropped off. I see a little bit of an in, increase over the last uh, five, six years. Eventually, though, you know, science, gene therapies will be a thing. Will it be called gene therapy? Who knows? Uh, but the keyword gene therapy, which is a singular of the one that we're looking at, uh, it looks like it's downward and then 
it looks like it's possibly going up. So this is all the science fiction theory stuff. And now we're starting to get into actual day-to-day -day business, which is what we're here to do. We're not here for science fiction. We are here to help the businesses that are actually working in an industry uh, do business. So 400 searches, plural is by far worse than singular and not really much happening here. Although I'm not surprised medical terms are not something that Google even allows money to train, change hands in. So, but where do those people go? They need, they need to be able to find resources. They need to be able to uh, find people that do gene therapies and things. It is a thing. I actually know a doctor who uh, ran a gene therapy clinic for a while. So there you go, genetherapies.com. Moving on, because, yeah, there you go. Okay. You like it? I like it, too. I like it. I'm glad that I saw it. And <laughs> I assume Gene's his name, not therapy. <laughs> if his last name's therapy, that's uh, that's very brandable. My grandpa's name was Gene. Okay, base premium, Jurisoft, Juris, there you go. Rental contracts, I don't love it. Uh, check it out on your own time. Uh, you run through the spy foo on that one. Rentalcontracts.com, it sounds like it's certainly a thing. I could see you putting up a, a website where you can download templated rental contracts, digital project product, and then of course, uh, some lawyers and things that can help with put together custom rental contracts. Certainly, well, let's click on it, at least see what it's going for. I won't do the keyword research on it, but okay. So ends in two days, $765 currently, rentalcontracts.com. Uh, certainly worth checking out. Love my family. Yes, I do. Automotive logistics. That is a mouthful. I work in logistics and I have to say that I'm not a big fan of, of, I don't like the word automotive. What a boring word, automotive. Nobody, very few speak like that. Okay, I will just, six ends in one day, $45 currently. Okay, I may not like automotive logistics, but it's still pretty cheap and I would easily bid that a few hundred bucks probably uh, just because it, it is a thing. Pesticide free that falls under that umbrella of marketing domain name. This is a, mar a marketing domain name is a domain name that people use in their marketing copy that you hear it in TV and radio commercials. Pesticide free. We've heard this fertilizers and, you know, organic things that are pesticide. Boom. Tagline. Owning that tagline means something because everybody that's ever used it wants to have a way to brand themselves as pesticide free. So this is a marketing domain name. Uh, basically anybody who has branded themselves or mentioned as a feature or benefit that they are pesticide free, they have an interest in this domain name. So it's something that you can possibly buy low, sell high, or as a domain developer, you're sneakier than that. Or I should say you're more about getting this in the hands of people that could benefit from it. You create a directory of products and services, people that value pesticide free. You don't have to just find one buyer and put it in the hands of one person that can hold it and keep it for themselves. Instead, we are out to develop domain names, ideally by sharing them with other good parties that have good intentions to help the world. So there you go, pesticidefree.com. That one's getting on my watch list. Let's go check the keyword data real quick. Because I have a feeling this could be big. This could be big, folks. You can see all the different keywords showing up here. I'm going to get ready with a control F also. Let's see if it lights up like Christmas. Yes, yes, it does. So we see the keyword data is not all that great. I'm not set any records here with the number of people looking for pesticide free. But there is a lot, like people, you can see what I'm talking about here. Uh, different companies are talking about, hey, it's pesticide-free coffee, pesticide-free oatmeal, pesticide-free pesticide weed, Denver, whatever the heck that is. It matters to people. They're searching for products and services that deal with pesticide-free. 
That is when we come in as domain developers and create a solution that shares that domain name with those who care about it, answering questions, providing content, and easy access to products and services in regards to pesticide-free whatever, product services. See if there is money involved. Uh, no advertisers, uh, low cost per click. So don't expect it to get too carried away, but it is a good domain name. Glad we saw it. Trade profits, not bad. Uh, cleaning now, again, not bad. I kind of like that. I, I like the idea of cleaning now is like, hey, need your house clean for a party or whatever, like cleaningnow.com puts you in touch with uh, home cleaning services that are available on short notice, something like that. In fact, that one's going to get us, I'm going to click on it. Let's go, let's go click on it. So one of the things I've been doing is doing domain names. Uh, I've been letting a lot of domain names go that are just under this caliber of domain name. Uh, I'm trying not to buy. <laughs> I'm trying not to buy my domain names back that I'm letting go. Why am I letting them go? Because there's so many domain names that are close. They're close domain names. Cleaning now. You heard I, it's like it could be a service that puts you in contact with services that are ready to clean now. But realistically, that if you were to think about color by number of a canvas of cleaning now, yeah, that's what comes to mind. But that's a complicated puzzle that you're going to be coloring up okay that's not a simple one uh and because of that that probably belongs in the hands of somebody other than me uh, but maybe not so uh so i've been letting some of those domain names go and that's one of the reasons i want to share with you name liquidate here in a little bit uh we've only talked about it a couple times but i want to share that in fact let's go a couple more page downs and uh well, there's i'm um, these are some pretty reasonable domain names. Hate how long this is, but audiencedevelopment.com. Uh, lots of stuff out there about how to build an audience for your YouTube channel, for your TikTok videos, for all that stuff. Yuck, but audiencedevelopment.com, what a great domain name for offering a service to help people out with that. Uh, Matt, if, if you're out there, I know you're, you're the audience guy. You may want to check that out. Um, balance therapy, cartoon yourself. I like that. That sounds like fun. I, I actually, that, that sounds like a lot of fun. Not, I mean, you could see it. Like, again, it's going to be a complicated picture, but you upload a photo and you can have artists either hand draw you to the caricatures, or maybe it's an automated thing that uses filters and different things to cartoon you. I like it. Hope somebody has something built on it at some point. Action tools, action tools. Okay, this one falls in the brand in a brandable domain name. Clicking on it just to see. Thirty-one dollars, three days left. Action tools. Um, I you know, I like that one of the things I I talk about is okay, take action. Action's important. Here's some tools to do that. I kind of see a transition there, which makes me think the domain name could be pretty good, but uh, going to move on. Don't want to get bogged down. I want to get through one page so we can get on and look at some other domain options. Book sniffer. Hey, to each their own. <laughs> Outreach programs. Uh, so this falls in that. In my mind, it falls in that charity kind of thread. Uh, we're talking, you know, what we call marketing and business, they call outreach. Uh, but outreach program is very generic. I'm guessing it has some good keyword. $25 currently ends tomorrow. Uh, that's one that I'd probably wait until five minutes left to bid on. Okay. If I can actually copy and paste. It's a simple task, but... I struggle sometimes. This was real. Outreach program, 720 searches. Singular gets 1,900. Uh, lots of other, I see our keywords showing up. Typically, singular, singular is better. 
community outreach programs near me in 900. So, uh, you know, if you're looking to change the world and improve the world, who knows, maybe outreach programs could be that for you. Uh, but if you're looking to profit, uh, not much money or advertisers happening. I think we saw this last week, hot tub rentals. That sounds so weird, but that's an actual thing for the record. There are hot tub rentals. Um, so there you go. Probably money to be made there. Uh, check it out. I am going fast and skipping over. I want to look at some other options. Uh, currently, we're looking through expiring GoDaddy domain names, previous owners letting them go. We are looking through searching using the filters uh, that are right here. That video will show you how to set up the filters, find what we're seeing, and Broadway properties eh, on compare. So that some, one of the things you really have to watch out for in domains is domain names that are close. They're close to being good. Uh, energy region, on compare, uh, value summit. Value summit might be a real thing. It sounds like it could be a trade show, but these are like domain names that sound like, hey, why not? I'll go ahead and buy them for a hundred bucks or I'll pay 80 bucks for it. And then you end up holding it for freaking 10 years, and then you end up letting it go. Whenever these lower price domain names or these near miss domain names, the ones that I'm letting go, I'm letting them go so somebody out there can, yes, they'll probably get it at auction. And if you want to make money off the domain name, most likely you are going to have to go work to find a buyer to pay higher prices for that domain name. Uh, it's not what I do, therefore I'm letting them go to get in the hands of somebody else that wants to do the hard work of finding a buyer and making that money that way. I'm a developer. I hope you're a developer. So there you go. And VIP report. Yeah, I'm not, not digging it. It sounds like a near miss, but it's probably worth looking at for sure. Experience social liberty brands. Sounds nice. I don't like the middle S typically, but sounds nice. Uh, that's a marketing domain. I'm going to click on that. Um, that So by marketing domain name, this is just purely for the fun of it type of domain name. Uh, you can sit in a commercial or something. If you love the way this sounds, then make sure to check us out at soundsnice.com. Get it? Marketing name. That's kind of sounds like something that would be good on a billboard radio commercial tv commercial uh sell my shares now oh, there we go okay so i'm going to zoom out here we're going to go all the way back up to the top of the page not sure what i just did there but won't do that again uh so now what we want to do is take a moment we're going to do something we've not done very much and we are going to look at uh, some of the other marketplaces that are on expireddomains.net. As we talk about GoDaddy, we look at that here on Mondays because it is the primary one. And why does it get that designation as the primary one we do? Because that, that's where the most domains are. Most of the domain names, I know that on a live show, we can spend 40, 50 minutes looking through domain names and find some good domains because there's so many. There's so many, over 400,000 domain names expiring on GoDaddy uh, through their network uh, over the next like week. So we filter them down and barely get it below 99,000. So there's good amounts of quality domain names there. That doesn't mean there's none elsewhere. So if you are at home at your office and domain names matter to you, and you're just especially looking for the perfect opportunity, maybe you've you know, saved up or have a couple thousand dollars, you're like, I want the best possible domain name for my investment. Uh, take your time, check more than just GoDaddy. And that's what we're gonna do is, I just wanna go over to dropcatch.com. Uh, so we're just on expireddomains.net, share it out here. And under the marketplace domains, I'm just going over to Dropcatch. 
So drop catch is a service that you can backorder domains with. And when that domain name expires and deletes, they just try to register it as fast as possible. And sometimes they win. And when they do that, if multiple people have a back order, it goes up for auction. Uh, that's what you see here. So when we have a drop catch type site, what I'm doing now is ordering it by the current bid price. So remember how on GoDaddy domain names, I tell you do not bid until the last five minutes and 10 seconds. Same kind of thing. This is what many domain investors do. We come in, we need to see which domains are the best ones. So we order by the domain price. This is a price that's currently there. Most of these end tomorrow, but they're already hundreds or thousands of dollars. All the best ones are on top. They, they're not hiding out here. So, uh, but I do have filters. So we're looking at two, uh, one to three words, dot com, no numbers, no hyphens. Uh, and ordered by the current price. So chances are we're not going to see the best domain names. They could still be hidden down below. So I did when I, I kind of just checked this real quick before the show uh, to see if it was even worth coming over to. I saw Jazz Tour kind of, I didn't mind it except for, I don't know if Jazz Tour is not really a thing. I know that there a lot of jazz bands are individual musicians that kind of go in and out of different bands. So maybe you put together something to where musicians can pair up with bands that way. Uh, let me see. I did see Latest Homes, not bad. Filet Steak, eh. Uh, I saw one here. Dang it, where is it at? Oh, bulkmaterial.com. I thought that one was a pretty good one. Bulk Material. Uh, let's go ahead and click on that one so I could show you uh, the some information. I do see some uh, chat conversation about uh, the Mesa Thilo. Yeah, anyhow, uh, that's notoriously high cost per click advertising uh, because, well, there's big money in it and uh, there's lawyers just look to print uh, money is, is why you see those high cost per clicks. It, it's not really for, um, it, it, I wouldn't invest in any domain name like that at all. Probably better stuff in the chat. I should have probably just kept my mouth shut. But that's what's going on with it is that that's why they do those commercials. Uh, if you ever watch like, what is it, Wheel of Fortune and like Jeopardy or some of those daytime TV shows, they have those commercials over and over. It's because even though there's like one in a million people that may need that service, it's affordable for them to pay thousands of dollars to try to reach that person because it's like a guaranteed, you know, major payday when they find them. Bulk material, 135 searches, uh, four advertisers, 65 cents. Uh, bulk material is essentially commodity. So I don't know, not, not too major, but pretty good domain name, $192 over on Dropcatch. So at least we got to see something new over on Dropcatch. Okay, so that's that's drop catch. We looked at that a little bit. Uh, with each of these different services, you will want to make sure you have your account set up uh, beforehand, before the auction. So if you're watching this live or haven't been on a restream and you want one of these, chances are you're going to miss out because in some cases, uh, it will take some time to get set up with an account with them, especially if you want to be able to pay uh, multiple thousands of dollars a lot of times they have verification rules. So here we're going to go to Epic and name liquidate reverse domains. So one of the things I did while that pops up, uh, one of the things I really want to try, try to concentrate here on domain to profit are domain names that you can buy. So there are all kinds of private domains out there that uh, that. I may be selling or numerous other people may be selling great domains to develop. And one of the reasons we don't talk about them necessarily is because I want to make sure that the domains that we mention on the show are available to anyone and everyone, like first person there wins type of thing. Uh, we may talk about private uh, domain names more in the future, uh, but for now, that's why we talk about auctions. The highest bidder wins, right? Well, here on name liquidate, 
The reason why I wanted to talk about name liquidate is because it's just the opposite. The highest bidder wins, except for it starts at around $1,000 and then the price decreases over time. And if you wait, you can get a good deal or you could miss out on the domain name. So let me come in here and the question becomes, what do we order by if the domain name, we don't have valuation available. We didn't have it on Dropcatch. We don't have it on name liquidate. So one option is to order by cost per click. And see if there are any domains that are, let me zoom in here for you. Uh, fast direct deposit, not bad. Now, the one thing that we're not seeing our screen here, we are not seeing uh, the price. And I'm trying to get the one that I think is pretty good. Trading demos, getting domains. Let's go with trading demos. Uh, I'm just looking, I just wanna kind of show you around name liquidate a little bit. So right now, this domain name has six days left. So I, I believe they go on for a week, maybe 10 days. And the way that name liquidate works is this domain name is going to go down in price. So right now it's $962 and you're like, why is that such a weird price? It's because it's going to go down in price over time. So you can, if you love it, you can buy it. You can just buy it right now for 962. Check back in a couple of days, if it's still here, it's going to be much less. So these are reverse auctions. It's a way for uh, domainers like me uh, and others to let a domain name go. And before it expires, uh, we can try to get some value out of that domain name. So all my domain names go to li name liquidate before they reach the market. But these are actually, uh, you know, trading demos. Eh, it's like a D, D domain name, not really set any records on that. Um, so that was ordering by cost per click, uh, which I, as you know, I don't necessarily use it all that terribly much. I actually prefer to order by the number of extensions a domain name is registered in, which is this reg column. And you can see it there, I believe it shows up. Hopefully, no, it does not show up. On my screen, when you hover over it, it says number of TLDs, top level domains, that this domain name is registered in. Uh, so that's .com, .net, .org. Uh, so this first one here, codablog.com, 11 domain names, uh, extensions, or is it registered in? Uh, Matthew Vaughn, uh, registered in eight. So what we're looking at is, let's see if we see anything that uh, is pretty good. So just like we use valuation to bring some of the best domains to the top, all we're doing is using registration to bring some of the best domains to the top. Now, the, now you're probably seeing why we go with GoDaddy domains. There's really not sold by us. Not bad. Drop creators. I mean, these are these are tolerable domains, and you can see the price here. Three days left. It's currently at four seventy-seven. Um, I'm sorry, it's a uh, small print. I just want to be able to see all the data on my screen. If I I'll zoom in. Okay, so there you go. Uh, that's name liquidate. And let me just zoom up to the top. Not really seeing enough to uh, dive into with uh, SpyFu or anything like that. But up here above me, you'll see all these other marketplaces that are available uh, for us to dive into. Uh, yes, each week we come in and we go to straight to GoDaddy, uh, but there are other ones. In fact, like most of these have multiples underneath them. They're drop downs for a reason. So you just have to look. Certain ones are the ones that are uh, there. People sell their domain names to a lot of these platforms, 10,000, 20,000, 100,000. Uh, they're private parties. Those are the ones we don't really show typically. And then pending delete, those are the domain names that are, they're about to be deleted. And you can try to register them at, as of the delete or you can back order them with the service like Dropcatch or Snap Names. A lot of information there, but uh, okay, there we go. We checked out some other stuff.
So let's uh, actually run through a summary real quick. Foodhubs.com, one of my favorite domain names from today, $250. That's going to end in an hour. At least it shows $250 on my screen right now. Let me refresh. Yep, still $250. I like foodhubs.com. Ideahunter.com, ending in three days, $80 currently. Charitypages.com, again, if you have that nonprofit in, you want to help out some charities, charitypages.com. Uh, two days left, $100 is current bid. Car history report, $50, full week. So this one will be ending just before the show next week. And Gene Therapies, this is a future type domain. May not be perfect right now, but it's it, you're buying into an increasing market. Uh, GeneTherapies.com ends in two days, $125. And uh, let me see, rental contracts. Digital play, maybe you can share out contracts, templates, sell 20 buck packages. Automotive logistics, eh, I don't like it, it's too long, but it is in my league, so I did want to mention it. Uh, pesticide free, that's a marketing domain name uh, that I guess I can share out the screen. I wasn't going to share it out, but I guess I will. Uh, Pesticidefree.com, marketing domain name, you see it on packaging all the time, and you can own the domain name. Uh, cleaningnow.com, actiontools.com, outreachprograms.com, all available as well. And then we checked out dropcatch.com and name liquidate. So there you go. There are some domain names. It is Monday. We went through many of the GoDaddy domain names. Thank you for joining me. I've seen lots of great chat out there. Thank you for everybody that is answering questions and helping out the other community members. So cool of you and I very much appreciate it. And I love having you with me. Thank you for joining me. We're already looking at these good domains, right? So let's do it together, see what we can find and learn together. So thank you. Uh, let me see. I, I just want I saw this one. Uh, L Couch is saying, zooming up, Matt, 66% of the watchers now have thumbs up. Hey, yeah, there we go. Thank you, everybody, for liking. I appreciate that. And I'm just going to say, zooming, uh, I own zooming.com. <laughs> I'm such a domain nerd. Okay, anyhow. Well, thank you so much for watching and joining us, Domain to Profit. I will be back. Hopefully, you will be back next week here, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for us to look through more expiring domain name opportunities. Join me. See you next week. I'm Drew Wash, Domain to Profit. See ya.